Ah yes, the game of chess, a way to improve memory, deepen focus, and boost planning skills. Well, let me tell you right now how I have none of these skills. Guys, honestly, I really suck at chess. Like, I have no clue how to play the game. Like, what is the horse? What is this horse? What, what is this? Look, this is more just a recording of me learning how to play chess. So if you see me make mistakes, uh, don't roast me. And to those that don't know how chess works, let's just go over each piece real quick to just get a perspective on how to play the game. All right, guys, uh, let's just cut to that right now. All right, so the pawn, the pawn can move up one, up two, or go across to take a piece. Next one is the horse. The horse moves in L shapes, so just think of it as an L. The bishop can move in diagonal lines, so it can go across. The rook moves in T shape, so it can go up, down, or sideways. The queen is a combination of a rook, a bishop, and the king. And those are all the pieces in chess, so let's just hop into it. Oofer, don't make a bad <laughs> move, Oofer. <laughs> Either way, it's a good move, right? Because then he would go right here. Oofer, just take the freaking pawn already. Okay. Wait, 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 Take one it or two. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do no that. Well, you already won. <laughs> Bruh, you guys make me want a headache. Wait. Checkmate. How's that not checkmate? checkmate? Oh, he's gonna block. Checkmate. He's gonna checkmate. block. Checkmate. 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. Checkmate. Wait, wait. Checkmate. No. Oh. Checkmate. Oh. Checkmate, oh, take his pawn! Checkmate! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! The pawn, oh. the queen with the pawn! The, the queen with the pawn! Take the queen with the queen! Take the, the, the pawn with the queen! I mean, yeah, the other what I said. <laughs> yes, yes, do that, Ufer. Hurry up! <laughs> checkmate! <laughs> checkmate! 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 No, no! no. Yeah, 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 <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> C C one, my bad. So it's stopping your queen from going to C one. Yes. <laughs> it's a pretty good move, Ufer. You should do it. Yeah. Do, do it, Ufer. Do it. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, that progress just got lost. Oop, 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 oop. Oh my god! How did this happen, Ufer? Oh, you know what to do, Ufer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, repetition. <laughs> Draw on repetition. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now let's just hop into the solo game. Alright, so this is me with no advice at all. So it's just me playing with my uh skills, quote unquote. And I'll just be doing commentary from now on. So it's not, you know. Anyway, this is just me doing my regular opening. So it's just pawn up two and then horse or knight sorry so my opponent started off with already taking my pawn on the opening so that's a bad and again i'm just a beginner so it's gonna take me like five years what move to do so sorry if it takes like 20 billion years so right now i'm just seeing what moves his knight could do against my board so in a result of that i just move my queen up and just wait on his move so let's see what he does my god all right to be honest i did have a brain fart there i didn't know why he moved backwards to be honest so i was just thinking what to do so i'm just gonna cut to my next move about 20 minutes later i move my pawn up in counter he moves his pawn down or up in his side to b6 so that's crazy Oh, also, these uh, letters and numbers on the bottom and the sides are what the position of each piece goes to. So just keep that in mind. So if I say, like, bishop goes to g5, then my bishop's at g5, which is, like, right there. Anyway, back to the game. As you see, I moved my queen back. I probably cut out when I was uh, showing you guys g5. And I just moved my, my pawn up, and he moved his pawn up as well. And I moved my pawn to take his pawn. He took my high pawn with his bishop. I move my queen to c2. He moves his pawn up again and at f6. I move my bishop back so he didn't take my bishop with his pawn. 
He moves his pawn up to try to take my bishop again. So I take his pawn with my bishop and then he takes my bishop with his pawn and then I use my knight to take his pawn. Uses his bishop to try to push my knight. I move my knight back. Uh, he moves his knight forward again. He, he also trapped me there. As you can see, my almost at check. Whoa. And then I take it out with my knight because it's bishop. And then his horse is still pushing me, but I took it with my queen right there. And I'm not sure what he was going for there. As you can see, he had his bishop right next to my queen, but he couldn't really do anything. So I just took it with my rook. And he, I also moved my queen next to my rook. And as you can see, I'm strategizing here what he could do with his knight. So I take his pawn and then he takes my pawn with his knight. And then right here, I'm just trying to learn, see what he's going to do or what I can do. And so I just move my rook to the left. He moves his king up there. I, this is where I make my queen right here. And then I take his knight with my rook just in case he's going to, and I also take his pawn with my rook and he takes my rook with his rook. And I took his rook with my queen and I did put him at check at one point, but he got out of it. Thanks to his uh, rook right there. I move my rook right below his king, so he, he I'll put him in check again, and then I take his queen with my queen right here. I'm contemplating it, as you can see, and then I took it, and then this is where he, I think he forfeits because he no already lost once I took that rook. So yeah, GG's. Next match, same as the last. Well, that made no sense, but anyway. He moves his pawn up, I move my pawn up as well in response to that, and then I move my bishop once he puts his pawn up, and then this is where he, I think, just decided to not play the game for like a good two minutes, so I think I'm just going to get some chips while he does that, so I'll be right back. And yeah, I won because he decided not to play the game, so GG's on that, hooray, more points for me. All right, so this is going to be my master match right here. So as you guys see, I put my pawn in front. He put his. I put my queen, and he put his queen to push mine. Uh, I put my pawn to cover his queen so he doesn't go anywhere. He puts his queen back. I put my pawn to push his queen again. This is where he starts to decide what to do. So he just go ahead and puts his queen back. I put my, my knight forward. He puts his knight forward as well. I put my other knight forward. He then puts his bishop back. I then go ahead and push with my... Uh, bishop as well and then he moves his i believe his bishop yep right there try to take my pawn i move my king up to see what he does he decides to go for a horse route again or a knight sorry uh, this is where i see what attack he could do right now which is uh just my pawn right now so i decide to just uh, move my knight below the queen and in response he takes my pawn that i was looking at so i move my king since i was in check and then he moves his knight in the corner just to have a fork in a road. My next move here was just to see what attack he had and just see what I could do with that knight. Meanwhile, he pushes me with his pawn, so I take his pawn respond. This is where I'm just waiting on his move, so I just see what he has right now, what attack he has, which is there, there with his knight. He pushes pawn forward, so I decide to push his knight, but in response, he just moves his knight anyway, so this is where I'm kind of stuck what to do. This is until I see where I can attack his knight with my bishop right there, which I'll go to in a second, which is right there. I take his knight in response. He takes my bishop, I believe. This is where I make a mistake or a blunder, you will say, from taking his queen. He takes, I take his queen with my queen. He takes my queen with his bishop. I didn't see. He then tries to counter my pawns from evolving by using his rooks. And I just decided to push with my pawns anyway because my knight was covering it, which he does actually take. So I take his bishop in return with my knight. This is where he decides to check me with his rook, which would be right here. He took my pawn, so I'm in check. So I have to move my king somewhere, which would be right there. And he checks me again with his bishop, so I have to move my king again. I then retaliate with my knight, which would be taking his bishop. And then he pushes up his pawn, and then I take his rook. And then and this is where he decides to do something crazy like no one would ever could. Like, this was insane, guys. Like, watch this. He, he <gasps> forfeits the match. That's crazy, guys. Am I right? But yeah, that's pretty much my chess playthrough. I'll probably keep playing every day just to see how good I can get. And 
I don't know, maybe I'll make this a, another video, like a journey thing or a series. Who knows? I, don't, I really am dumb. I can't play this game. But uh, how about we just uh, go my outro real quick. Uh, outro, can you? Yeah. If you put pawn, if you put your bishop under his bishop, yeah, that was chronic AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you move that, if you move like that bishop there. <laughs>